Well, here we go. It is time for another unveiling, unboxing, if you will. Uh, this one is similar to a phone that I started using back in October of 2018, the famous OnePlus 6T. Well, it's been six months, and OnePlus, uh, a smaller, they're, they're kind of a niche market. They're not as big as Samsung. They're not as big as Apple. They're not as big as LG. Uh, and yes, I do agree with other YouTubers. LG needs to stop making smartphones. They're horrible. So this is the new OnePlus 7 Pro. Let's take a look. And this is a compliment of uh, T-Mobile. Now T-Mobile doesn't sponsor me, um, but they do have no stocking, no restocking fee. So that makes it very easy to uh, try out the phones. And if we can get this open, maybe it's this one. Oh wait, maybe if I could read, grip and rip out. All right, so, we'll just, well that didn't work, there we go. Oh man. <laughs> we have the fun bubble wrap, ah, there it is. OnePlus 7 Pro, their famous uh, red. So we got the uh, Bluetooth logo, Dolby Atmos sound, very nice, so that's new. Qualcomm Snap, 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 Snapdragon. And so this one's 4G LTE compatible, but it's also 5G. Uh, I verified with the rep, and they told me that this was 5G, so hmm. Uh, yeah, so this has the 4,000 milliamp battery, not removable, and not red inside, as we found out. It is fast charging, does the new warp charging, and a bunch of other stuff. So, without further ado, let's cut this bad boy open. And take a look. And then probably tomorrow or in a few days, I'll do a comparison video between the OnePlus 7 Pro and its little sister, the OnePlus 6T. So in this, I think is a manual and a case, nice. So the reason they did the clear case is because people want to show off their phone. This is manual and stuff, we don't need that. Never settle. Oh, that's nice. So the main draw of this phone is, are two things. Well, a lot, but there's no camera on the front. So the front is just all solid glass screen. And I'm pretty sure it's grow glass. And there's the new Warp Charge logo, different power brick. I'll compare that to the OnePlus uh, 6T later. Nice, those little grooves. Man, that thing's huge. And they have a little USB cable, red. It looks like they did not include an adapter which allows you to do USB-C to phone jack. Oh, and they did that. That's a bummer. That's gonna be $10. So T-Mobile throws in a SIM card if you don't have one, and the uh, SIM card ejector i.e. a very fancy safety pin. But they did not include the adapter. So someone at OnePlus got a little greedy. That's a bummer because there is no three millimeter headphone jack. It's just nice and clean. But uh, yeah, so um, this is really, really similar to the OnePlus 6T released in October of 2018. We still have the slide bar, which I just love. Uh, just a quick side note, I did have the Samsung S10, not the E, not the Plus, just the mid-tier the, the mid one, and a friend of mine loaned it to me for a week. I didn't like it, I returned it. Uh, the edge of the screen was too bezeled, and this one does have the bezel curved screen as well, but it's really subtle. So we'll just uh, press the power button here, turn it on, see if it comes charged.
Man, that's a real bummer that it did not come with an adapter. Why this power's on, well, there's the T-Mobile logo. We'll see if this charging cable, hmm, I guess they do want you to open it. Eh. Nice. Yeah, it's the same length. What is that? Three feet? About. And they still stuck with uh, USB to USB-C. I was kind of hoping they'd switch it up and do USB-C to USB-C, but that's all right, because that's what the last one was. Well, there we have it. So we'll, uh, we'll play, and play around with the camera here in another video. Agree, sure, agree. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Connect to network, yeah, we'll do that later. So there we have it, the OnePlus 7 Pro all screen pop-up camera, three lenses on the back. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to use this one. So, and this is the Nebula Blue. So even when we put on the case, you're still gonna be, be able to view that awesome color on the back. And thanks for the free case, OnePlus. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll post a full, full review probably in the next, oh, I don't know, 48 hours. Thanks, bye, see ya.